Welcome to the short um, video for time value of money. We're going to talk about a few concepts in time value of money, but let's first deal with the calculator. The preferred calculator for use in um, a lot of corporate finance classes is the BA2 Plus, as you can see on your screen. But I'll be using the BA2 Plus Professional. Same functionality, just a few more um, bells and whistles. Let's first talk about setting the, the amount of decimal places. I like to use four decimal places when I do calculation problems. So I'll show you how to set it. The way you set the decimal places. Second key, you hit the decimal point key. You see DEC for decimal places, I suppose. I'm going to set it two. Hit the word enter. Then zero it out. You see 0, 0.00. Well, just believe me, it says 0, 0.00, but I want to set it back to 4. Hit the second key, decimal point, you should see DEC equals 2. Hit the number 4, and the word enter. Zero it out, now I have my four decimal places. Before we get into the actual time value money problems, let's talk about a concept of um, nominal versus effective interest rates. The nominal rate of interest is the stated rate of interest. The effective rate of interest is the actual rate that you pay based on the compounding periods. So if you was if you were given 8% annual interest, 8% annual interest, that would be your APR. But it was compounded monthly, which would be your APY for annual percentage yield. You need to find the actual effective rate. So nominally they gave you 8%. So you can use the interest conversion um, component to this calculator. Second, hit the number two. The word ICON is on top of it. ICONV for interest conversion. You should see nominal. NOM equals, I told you the stated rate was 8%. Hit the word enter. Push the arrow down. You see effective. We're not ready to compute the effective rate. You should see C slash Y. I said it was monthly compounding. So 12 put 1, 2. The word enter. Arrow down to you see effective and push compute. So an annual interest rate of 8%, a nominal rate of 8%, would effectively be 8.3% if it's compounded monthly. You can also go in reverse. But let's now jump to some time value money problems. Let's run right out, just get out of that menu. We're going to do uh, present value of a single flow, future value of a single flow initially. Before every time value money problem, you should do this, this um, sequence. Hit the second key and the future value key, which you, where you will see clear time value money on the top. So you know that's the clear the time value money because it stores what the um, last function that you performed in calculating. Let's get right to it. What we're going to talk about today is a few problems. We're going to talk about time value money. We're going to talk about bond valuation and also stock valuation. Time value money is chapter 4. Bond valuation is chapter 6. Stock valuation is chapter 7. Not in any particular order, just as it comes to my mind. We're going to talk about the future value of $100 received today and deposited at 6% for four years. So what do we use on a BA2 plus? We use the gray row. Future value of $100. So what is $100? We can use a formula method to find the future value. The formula method for the future value is FV equals PV times 1 plus I over N. N being number of periods. Not necessarily the number of years, just number of periods involved in the problem. So we're going to calculate this problem using the gray row of the calculator. I stated that the future value of $100, $100 will equal what? PV. And that's how you type it in 100 and hit PV. How many years? Four years. Four equals N. Then you would type in 6 equals I, Y, and you hit the compute button. C, P, T, F, V, and you should see 1, 
26. Future value. Or you can plug it into the formula. PV 100 times 1 plus I in number of periods 4, which will result in 100 times 1.06 to the fourth power, so you get you 126. That is the future value of a single amount. The next problem that we're going to um, compute is a present value problem. Present value is called discounting because we look at a future amount of discount to the day's terms. So we're going to look at the present value of $400 to be received at the end of 10 years if the discount rate is 5%. I conveniently wrote my gray row that I need for this problem, but I'll write the formula for the present value if you don't like to use your calculator and you want to use a formula method. PV is the opposite of FV. PV equals FV divided by 1 plus I carried to the number of periods. You can put the math in there and then you can come up with the answer. Or we can use the calculator keys. The reason why I write the calculator keys after because with the BA2 plus calculator you have to put the number in and then push the key. So I kind of do it the opposite way. I told you the present value of 400 to be received at the end of 10 years if the discount rate is 5%. So 400 is the future value. 400. N is the number of periods. In this case, the periods are years, so 10. IY, or the discount rate, is 5%. You put it in as a whole number, and you compute PV, and you should obtain 245.60. And that's how you do a present value of a single amount.